Welcome back to my free question bank series. For those of you joining me for the first time, this is the video series where I give you free practice questions for USMLE and Comlex. The goal is not necessarily to teach you new content in these videos, but to help develop your brain and help you recognize patterns for when you're taking questions so that you can learn to work backwards and solve complex second and third order questions to get a really, really awesome score when you sit for the real USMLE or Comlex. Before I get into today's video, please remember to consider clicking the join button on my channel. You see it on this slide with that red arrow pointing to it. When you click join, you're gonna sign up to be a Dirty Medicine member. Now, what does that mean? All Dirty Medicine members, whenever they comment anywhere on my channel, you actually get my little Dirty Medicine icon right next to your name. So everybody will publicly know that you're a Dirty Medicine member. Now, in order to get that perk, you join the membership and you pay $4.99 a month. So you are providing financial support of the channel. And in exchange for that financial support, not only do you get that cool little Dirty Medicine icon next to your name, but you'll also be able to vote on members only polling. Now members are the ones that get to answer polls on the locked community tab of my channel. So I'll post something like, you know, what do you want the next topic uh, of what do you want the next video topic to be? And there'll be a bunch of choices. And you'll be able to vote if you're a member. So if you want to give back to my channel, you want to support my mission to provide free medical education, please consider clicking that join button. You can also find that join button on any video. You can also find in the description of any video a direct link to sign up as a Dirty Medicine member. Now let's get into today's practice question. A researcher is studying the properties of several connections between cells. Her results, pictured below, show the percentage of structures identified in the study. Now we've got this graph here, which is showing us the percentage of different uh, connections between cells that were identified in the study. Based on these results, which of the following inter- or intracellular junctions was most commonly identified in the study? A. Tight junctions. B, adherence junctions, C, desmosomes, D, integrin, or E, gap junctions. Pause the video if you want some time to think about this practice question. All right, let's start to go through this now. So we've got a graph with basically showing us the percentage of times that the structures shown in that gray box in the graph were identified in the study. And based on that information, we have to figure out what type of junction was most commonly identified. So needless to say, between connexins, e cadherin cytokeratin, and claudin, one of those will be paired up with one of our answer choices below. Now, you, the first part of getting this question right is being able to read data. And this is not an uncommon way for USMLE or Comlex to ask you a question. So they'll take a concept that you should be familiar with. In this case, it's the connections between cells. And they'll ask it in a weird way. And I admit, this is kind of strange. And in this question, you need to look at this graph and figure out that cytokeratin, which I've highlighted in red, was the structure most commonly identified in the study. So now we're kind of working backwards. We're, we're, the first step of any question like this is to be able to read the graph. And in this case, cytokeratin was the most commonly identified. Now your brain needs to work backwards and say to itself, okay, what, what type of inter or intracellular connection do I see cytokeratin in? And if you can figure out the answer to that question, you'll get this question correct. Now, in this case, the correct answer is C, desmosomes. Desmosomes are involved or contain cytokeratin. But all of these answer choices, choices A, B, D, and E, all have some type of association with the data that you see in the graph. So let's go through them now one at a time and just point out which structure is paired with which type of inter or intracellular junction. So choice A, tight junctions, is composed of or involved with claudins plus occludins. Choice B, adherence junctions, are composed of E. cadherin and actin. And when I say composed of, I'm talking about being very much involved with. So if, if not composed of it, interacting with it. We already talked about desmosomes because the answer was cytokeratin. Choice D, integrins, 
contain or interact with collagen, laminin, and fibronectin. And choice E, gap junctions, contain or interact with connexins. So this was a fairly straightforward question, but I'm giving you this question because I want you to get comfortable seeing information presented in a very strange or seemingly abnormal way, and then being able to look at that information in the form of a graph or some type of statistical plot and working backwards and asking yourself, what are they trying to tell me by giving me this infographic? So again, I'll repeat myself one more time because this is very important for getting the how right, right? The how do I answer this question? Not the what, not the content, but the how. How do I think like a high yield test taker? There's, these questions generally have two steps to them. Step one is you look at the data, you look at the graph, you look at the infographic, you look at the plot, and you ask yourself, what are they trying to tell me? In this case, cytokeratin was the most commonly identified structure. And then step two is working backwards and pairing that information that you've taken out of the graph or out of the image and putting that with the information that you studied in first aid or whatever other resource you'd like to use and getting the correct answer. So these two part questions are very, very important and you're gonna see them on USMLE and Comlex. So get comfortable with them and be familiar with them. Now, as far as this topic is concerned, I am planning to release a video that talks about all of these different cellular connections. So that should be coming out soon, so stay tuned if you didn't know this content.